Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell was the first to pay tribute to late former Governor General Sir Carlisle Glean during the state funeral on Tuesday. Celebrating the life and legacy of Sir Carlisle, the Prime Minister says the former head of state contributed so much to many, leaving an indelible mark on the people of Grenada. As a former educator myself, I'm quite familiar with the burdens of the profession. The many sacrifices made in the interests of students and the immeasurable sa satisfaction one feels when students succeed. Dr. Mitchell notes Sir Carlisle's legacy lives on from his hometown in Guove to the halls of the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill Campus. As I reflect, therefore, on the life of Sir Carlisle today, I recall, therefore, an exceptional person, a genuine and decent human being whose most endearing trait was probably the level of humility he displayed throughout his entire life. In fact, as I listened to many of the tributes, one word stood out consistently, humility. Governor General Dame Ceci Lagrenade, in paying tributes, reminisced on wise counsel received from her predecessor. I am honored to have succeeded such a gracious and humble public servant of our nation and to have benefited and to have had the benefit of his wise counsel prior to my assumption of this office. Grenada has lost a dear son who has left an indelible mark on our country. Grandson of Sir Carlisle, Nigel Dabrio, in delivering the eulogy, recollected the memories of the tight-knit Glean family, as well as the building of relationships, which led to his involvement in politics. Sir Carlisle was a man of Guave, for Guave, and by extension, the nation he loved and served. His steadfast dedication to his faith, family, education, and community laid the foundation for the exceptional arc of his life, from a poor boy hawking jacks to the highest office of the land. A man of many titles, Sir Carlisle was laid to rest at Douglaston Estate. For GBN News, Janelle MacDonald.